Hey everyone, Technometry here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Apple Pencil 2nd generation with your iPad Air 4th generation. Now, the Apple Pencil that are compatible with the 4th generation of the Air is going to be your 2nd generation Apple Pencil and the one with the USB-C. Any other one will not be compatible at this time, but if you do have a USB one or the second generation Apple Pencil, this is how you can connect it. So connecting it is going to be really simple. First thing is we can uh, put this on the side, on the right hand side, you can go just like that. There's a magnetic strip that actually connects it and it should pair up like that. Now if it doesn't pair up like that, you can also go into your settings, go on to Bluetooth here, and if you see it disconnected, like let's forget about this one and you see it show up here in order to connect it you simply just click on it over here on other devices and it will start pairing as well now if it doesn't pair you can also go ahead and turn off bluetooth and then turn back bluetooth on and same exact thing you want to go ahead and just simply put it on here when you put it on to it it automatically knows that apple pencil and it connects it right away and starts charging it as well so that's how you connect it now further down here you'll see there's the actual setting for apple pencil so let's go ahead and take a look at that right here apple pencil you can also see the charge level the double tap feature on the second generation or the newer um apple pencil and then optional settings as well you can try the scribble option once it's connected to see if it's working so we can go ahead and try this so let's go ahead and see if it's working so it's working for us you can hit done and that's how you connect your Apple Pencil with your iPad Air 4th generation. Now, if you're still having issues, there's another troubleshooting video that we go over some details in terms of troubleshooting. Make sure you guys check that out. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad, iPhone, and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.